Wrestling fans, welcome, welcome, welcome. We are in Baxter Park in Derby Line, Vermont for ETWA's Heat Wave. Eastern Township Wrestling Association is proud to be back here as a free event as part of the Derby Line Community Day. So happy to be with you. My name is Peter DeLong. Thank you so much. I will be your guide on this wrestling adventure. And we are starting it out with a singles contest. Here comes Diego Alvarez making friends right away. Uh, I think I heard somebody talk about uh, his hair. And he uh, claimed that they were green with envy of his luscious flowing locks. I mean, I gotta hand it to him. He does take care of those uh, those follicles. They, they look pretty good, you know. Give him the benefit of the doubt. Anyway, we got plenty of action for you today. So glad that you're with us. We're right on the border. I can literally throw a Best of Jumping Bomb Angels DVD and have it land in Canada. It's very cool to be here. Here comes Alvarez's opponent. Sigma's back. Sigma's hungry. Sigma coming out ready for a fight. Back in ETWA. Having a good time meeting the crowd out there. And the crowd giving it back to him. Loves to feed off of that energy. I spoke to a lot of people in the crowd earlier tonight. They're, they were ready to, for, a, for a fun time. And a guy like Sigma is exactly what they're, what they're looking for. That right there. Very exciting in the ring. Always put on a good show. Giving the people what they want. Sending them home happy. That's really what you want in professional wrestling, isn't it, folks? Sigma's here to give it to you. We'll see what he can do up against him. Right, this first match is a singles match scheduled for one fall. First up, hailing from Malden, Massachusetts, he is the El Guapo of Grappling. He is Diego Alvarez. I'm a little upset I didn't come up with that nickname myself. That's pretty, that's pretty clever. You got to give it to him. And his opponent, weighing at 205 pounds, from Solar City, he is hungry for battle. He is Sigma! The referee for the matchup is Adam Brunson. All right, well, if you've got ears and eyes like me, then you can tell that uh, it, it's pretty clear who the crowd is behind here in this matchup. Sigma, I believe, has the uh, majority of the uh, support coming from the crowd here. We're going to see if that equates to uh, a winning combination. We're going to see if it matters. Baxter Park making their uh, their choice be known. Come on, baby. Come on. Look you got. Come on. Very hung up on how good his hair is. I mean, like I said, I gotta give it to him. It is very, very nice hair. But uh... <laughs> Sigma's got nice hair too. He's got quality over quantity, I suppose. All right, enough. Forget loss of the sauce already. Here we go. Collar and elbow starting it out with these two. Nice arm drag. Takes Sigma down real quick. Yeah, baby. Diego Alvarez already the upper hand. It's early yet though. Still filling each other out. Sigma, the kind of competitor that kind of uh, changes his approach as the match goes on, learns from his mistakes, assesses the situation, changes the focus, changes his approach, to approach as needed. As we just saw there. <laughs> a little bit of a little bit of Josh in there. Quick go behind by Diego. Brings him down, face first, into the mat. A little bit of paper rushing, I believe. Not gonna hurt anybody, but it's gonna kind of make you mad. Gonna set off the temper there on Sigma. 
Collar and elbow once again. Diego goes low. Gets the waist lock again. Sigma breaks the hold. Nice drop, do hold. Right up. And a little bit of paint brushing of his own. Quid pro quo here, folks. At, he just asked the ref to fix his hair. Demanding that the referee go over there and fix his hair. I mean, define fix. See, he needs, he needs to give more direct... Uh, uh, Direct demand. <laughs> Gotta be more specific. All right, here we go. Sigma now. The 18th letter in the uh, Greek alphabet, numerically equating to 200. Perhaps uh, a hint at his uh, I don't know energy level, power level. I don't know. Diego turning it around, wrist control now. Sigma rolls through. Nice kip up, rolls it around. And right back into that wrist control. Sigma dropping Diego right down. Oh, come on now. Goes for the hair only for just a moment to open up that opportunity to bury that knee into the midsection. Now in control of that headlock is Diego Alvarez. Sigma backing him up. Tries to send him to the ropes, but Diego Alvarez hangs onto that hair. Let's go for just a moment, but gets right back to it. Questionable tactics already by Alvarez. The El Guapo of grappling now, taking a few forearms to the ribs. Shoulder block. Alvarez having a little, a little too much fun in there, if you ask me. Oh, see that? Took his eyes off the prize, takes a clothesline. Stares at the sky for a moment. Oh, nice kick by Sigma. Very well placed heel kick, spinning heel kick. Oh. And a Spartan boot to the middle of the chest sends Alvaro to the corner. Here we go, coming across. Oh. Attempting to chop directly through the chest of Diego Alvarez. Face first under the top of that turnbuckle. Oh man. This one. Even with no walls, a wide open space, you can still hear the echoes off of the uh, the tree line. Oh. Sigma knows how to utilize that knife edge chop. Only for quiet now. And just relentless with the punishment. Alvarez trying to get some help from the cameraman. He packed up pretty quick. Now off the ropes. Oh, thought he was going for a uh, spy buster, but turned around into an atomic drop. Nice leg sweep. Off the ropes now. Simple but effective standing splash. Gets the two count only. But continuing the assault on the upper body and the chest area of Diego Alvarez. Driving the air out of the wind ca uh, cavity. Now ascending. Gonna rain some blows down. Forearms to the top of the head of a prone Diego Alvarez. Oh, wait a minute. Slinking out. Oh! Pulls the foot off the middle rope. Face first into that top turnbuckle. Finds an opportunity to turn around the uh, flow of momentum here. Neck breaker in the middle, pulls him down, goes for the cover, shoulders down, still not enough. Sigma able to kick out, but now Diego Alvarez, you can see, you can see the attitude returning. Much to the chagrin of the crowd here at Baxter Park. And just punishing the upper shoulder area of Sigma now in the corner. Here we go. Oh. Rushing back elbow into the corner. Pulls him in for another cover. Two count only Sigma. Able to get the shoulders up. Match continues. You can see him reaching for the ropes. Trying to get a little bit of support. But Alvarez right on him. Pulling him back into the middle. Modified chin lock there. 
driving those elbows into the into the clavicles. Sigma fighting off. Hold relinquished. Now Sigma off the ropes. Ducks a clothesline. Coming off again. Back elbow ducked as well. Oh, wait a minute. Into a quick pinning predicament. Not enough. Almost caught him. Oh, oh man. Just as Sigma started to get a little bit of momentum, Alvarez brings him right back down with that punishing clothesline. Elbow to the crest of the cranium. And finding new and innovative different ways to just uh, send some punishing blows to the back of the neck, the top of the head, the shoulder blade area. I mean, Sigma's a, a, a power move guy. A lot of upper body strength required to, to uh, pull off a lot of the uh, maneuvers that he's used to doing. But if his shoulders and neck and, and, uh, and upper back are being punished, he's not going to be able to utilize those muscles that allow him to do the, that move set. Oh. Once again, bringing him by the hair, crashing down to the canvas, cover. Still not enough, even with that leg. Leg hooked, hands cinched, but Sigma's still able to kick out right back to that chin lock now. Pushing down extra weight across the shoulders of Sigma, making it more difficult, making it necessary to fight even harder just to get back up to a standing base. Breaks the hold. And Diego back to the hair. Come on, referee's got to get in there. Oh! DDT in the middle goes for the cover. And still not enough. Got to hand it to Sigma. Plenty of fight left in him. Come on, Sigma! 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 You can hear the crowd getting behind Sigma. Diego Alvarez giving him a moment to get back up. Has something in mind. Here he comes from across the way. But Sigma able to get that elbow in the way. Boot to the chest. Coming out of that corner. Spinning heel kick to the midsection now. Takes Diego Alvarez down. Giving him the moment that he needs. Regain his strength, his composure. Get his wits about him. Oh, blocks one from Alvarez now. Firing off of those forearm shots. Off the ropes. Takes him down with a clothesline. Sigma looking good now. Oh, punishing kick right across the sternum. Let's everybody know about his appetite. Sigma's hungry coming in with that flashy back elbow. And an axe kick across the back of the shoulders. Setting him up. As it cinched in. No, Alvarez fighting off. Continuing the punishment to the back of the neck just like he's been. Oh, now Sigma's got a handful of hair. Oh, gets him. Scorpion death trap. Goes for the cover. Oh, was that two? Was that three? No, called it two. Called it two, but Sigma says it's over. Has something else in mind. Goes for another body blow. Sizes Alvarez up. Huge axe kick right to the back of the head. Goes for the cover one more time, hooks the leg, and that's it. Sigma! Sigma getting a big win to start the night out here. Derby Line Community Day starting off with a bang. Plenty of action left to come, folks. ETWA Heat Wave continues. Sigma gets to soak in a little bit of adulation. Pre-game for the celebration of the back, no doubt. Some good barbecue over there. I'm sure he'll go and grab some of that.
Plenty more action to come, folks. Heavyweight Championship on the line tonight, as well as a Tag Team Championships. Don't go anywhere. Plenty more action at ETWA's Heat Wave to come.